And this is my house. There is a place we went. Good. Can you listen to me? There is a place we went for a re revelation. No, and it's his friend. Do you understand? And this man never knew that that's where he was building huts for 18 years. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you are watching from. This is another episode of Keep It With The Grace Family. Today we are in a lolly. We are in a, a lolly and a lolly. We came here because of a family liberation of a friend to this, our brother. So on our way, on the process of praying, he was there. So the pastor ministered to him about a house that he has built far back that he couldn't remember. So when the revelation came, after everything, Pastor Man told him that since he could be able to remember the place after the prayer, that he, after much prayer, that he must take us there. So guys, today we are here already. Please, uh, sir, can you tell my audience your name? Yes. Your name? To, my name. My name is John. Mr. John. Mr. John. You guys I'm, have known my pastor. I'm Pastor Nicholas Simon. Pastor Nicholas Simon. Um, you know, according to what I was saying, someone can come to a place. It may, it may not be the reason why that mm. prayer was going on. But the Spirit of God can direct that person to see your own problem. It's where we went for family repression. Mm. In his friend place, he was placed in there. That is when Pastor Nan see God, Pastor Nan have revelation about this very man. The house as it has been building for a very long time. The house is almost getting to, is, is according finishing. to him, finishing that right. he can even rent there. But he could not remember the house again. He can't even come there again. So carry us to go there so that God will expose who is involved. So, sir, explain to our audience so that they will hear direct from you too. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I went to my friend place to go and visit my friend and I saw some pastor praying there. And once I see them, the pastor just mentioned my name, Mr. John, I want to see you after closing this prayer. And I went to the man, say, say something is doing me. I say, I know, but what is doing me? I didn't know what is worrying me. But I know, say, something is going on. The way pastor pray for me and pour me water and put oil, only fuel on my head. And I remember, I say, I have some property for some way. Once I go there, I say, okay, they should follow me, go to the place that I have the property. Yes, so, Sorry, sir, but this very house, you have forgotten it for over 18 years, right? So, and the very big prayer, I don't really know the person. You don't really know the big prayer. You go know when you see him. You go, if you see the big prayer, you go now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it's not the one big prayer that is working in the house. I need a contractor where I put you. Go up, go up. But this is not a contract or something. Anyway, what we get there is big prayer. All these people that they normally stay in the house when they are building it. Do you understand? And you know that all this is not ordinary. Pastor, you have to explain to you so that you understand because this one is not a contractor that built house. According to it's not a contractor. Okay, my audience, my people, many things are happening in this life. This uh, this was the liberation we went for in Lorry at one Mr. Obusin compound. And uh, luckily to this young man here, we went for a liberation for another person. And this is a friend to the man. You know, as the liberation was going on, for the fact that this man was with them, uh, that's a liberation, revelation. I had a revelation. I don't know him. But my, the Holy Spirit is telling me that this man, there is something happening to this man. When I continue, don't even know. Well, which, well, I don't even know. When I keep on asking God to clear, the, to clear it for me, I now realize that this man here was building a house, already finished the house in Ogun State. And that house has reached a stage of renting. Could you imagine, imagine that the, the brick layer that the man was handling things, when the man came from Lorraine to that place, the brick layer that will hand the money over to take care of the people that are working in there. After the, the, the guy has seen that the, the house now is about to rent, the man, the young brick layer went to Babalawo to do a concord, do a juju or something like that, come and bury at that house, at the front of the door, where the man built for him to live, that personally. So when we discover this, now I called the man, this young man here, I called him and explained, asking, do you have a house somewhere? The man said no. I laughed. 
I said, I tried to put it in that there is where a building house that has almost finishing. That's in Ogun State. When the man could not understand, I went directly and prayed with him. I poured uh, anointing water on him and prayed. The man's eyes were open. He realized that he was building house there in Ogun State over 18 years now. So he realized what is happening now. Know that there's, he, there's a guy that is handing over those things that time, being the bricklayer. Now I tell him that the bricklayer, that very man taking being the bricklayer here, went and do evil and bury at the side, at the flat where the landlord will, will, will live. So that thing affected the man where he was living. He could not remember again that he had a building. He just over from, from 18 years now. The man did not even recognize that he's building her somewhere. Now, after that uh, revelation, the man now realized. I asked him, do you want to have the property back? The man was really very worried for me to come and expose the person. That's why we are here now, to take us to that compound so that we can do a prayer. The Holy Spirit will reveal. They said the person is still living there. And the bricklayer now is now the landlord. We are, all of them know that. They don't even know this man as a landlord. You see what is happening there. So now we are going to, I'm taking, he's taking us to that place. Thank God, God opened his eye to know the direction and the road to that place. And do a prayer and pray for God to review the, person, the person that did that and will break the, the yoke for him to get his property back and deliver the person. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we are here now. Uh, Mr. John, we have heard from you. You understand? For the fact that he can be able to know the house. Do you understand? Yes, you are going to take us there. We are here, we are here already. All right, you understand? But what we are begging you is for you to take it and calm down. You understand? Because if not because of God, you wouldn't have no the house. Yes, the yes. house can even go there from yes. the nation to the judge. It can never be your property again. Yes. The person will take over and your children will take over. Do you understand, sir? Right. sir. Yes, so ma'am. please, sir, you have to calm down. Right, so you ma'am. have to take us there. Let's yes, know ma'am. how God is going to yes, understand. Ma'am. Thank God. Yes, Guys, we are going to get back to you people. We are on our way. Let's go to us. It's very far from here. We are going to get. So when we get back, we want to continue this uh, video. Guys, we are here in the this around. The other the compound. Yes, this is my compound. This is my house. I'm going to have this one too. I'm going to have this one. The other this one. I'm going to have that one too. This is my compound. But it's like people don't live here. People don't I stay. Do, I do. I do. I see people. Many people still be here. Nah, no surprise. You be this one. Yes. You get this one. This is the one that don't stay. But then I don't stay here now. No, you don't understand. And this is my compound. This is where I live. This is my compound. This is this place. When I'm finished. I don't like it. So this is my compound. Look at my compound. You be the finishing to rent. Yes. And be the finish and rent. I don't know. That's the end. What I mean is there. This is my break. Until I see. Pastor, now where I go greet my friend? Where you say make I come greet my friend? Where I come see Pastor? I don't even know the Pastor before. Yeah, this is where I do for myself and my family. I'm good you. I don't even stay here. See you, why? And yes, this is my company. Yes, this is my place. This is my place. They don't rent them. Another place. I don't even know what I'm saying here now. All oh, that time, I just say, yeah, my friend, don't you? Go back now. If I see Pastor, we pray for me. We do something for me. This is my place. See ya. See here, as I meet, as I reach here now, see men back in this cup and say, what is going on here? As I see, 